Praise God. I want to appreciate God. It's another Sunday, and as a usual um, practice is uh, every Sunday is a time where we have time to uh, for a brief moment to hear God's word. Um, I am a bit disturbed in my spirits, and because I have been saying this over the time about the importance of what I want to share with you. And as a matter of fact, I want to turn it to a series so that for those who are following us, we can listen to it over and over again, over and over again on the mind of God concerning uh, this. This is uh, today's Sunday and it's short word with Prophet Dibola. I know. I want to encourage you to help us to share because this is one of the focal points of our existence as children of God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once again today. We give you praise in the name of Jesus for these privileges you have given unto us, especially to give us life that we see another Sunday. Uh, we bless God's name in Jesus' name. I ask God that you speak to us again today in the name of Jesus. I ask God that you make my mouth a pen and very writer to write this was in the hearts of the sons and daughters in Jesus' name. We had to call the Holy Spirit as we to spread this gospel on the net, on a social media platform, in the name of Jesus. To you be glory, to you be honor. In Jesus' name, I pray once again. This platform is called Short Word with Prophet Devola, and we have various platforms there with various specific purpose to which we share according to the assignment God has given it to us. So I want to encourage you uh, for you to enjoy what's uh, the value the image makers world offers. Um, there's a need for you to follow us on our various platforms so that each time we have special programs, special programs, special, you know, our programs during the week. We have programs during the week, praying program. We have counseling session for singles for married online. Uh, we have uh, we have platforms to which you know, this, this specific purpose uh, is to pray for. Uh, for you pray for people, and so that's why it's needed. It's important for you to learn to follow us uh, on the various platform Facebook. Those are the major one: Facebook, YouTube, uh, TikTok, um, Instagram, and on WhatsApp. Also, we have various channels. Those are the channels on WhatsApp. Also, we have specific uh, praying program on WhatsApp that every Wednesday we meet, we pray for just for thirty minutes, and this uh, we started a. We started a program that every, we call the prophetic praying, prophetic parenting prayers. Um, that every day we'll be praying for our children in the month. So there's a lot that we do, probably don't know about. That being said, I am so disturbed in my spirit, and as it has been for a while. I've been shouting about it. Uh, lest I forget, I'm not claiming that I know it all. I'm still in learning process. I am. I am worried i'm worried uh, because i know i always cry cry to people tell people that marriages families are under attack man many people are not listening because they feel some feel that they have money because they have money they can do anything they can say anything they can misbehave and they keep forgetting the bible will say money will finish and let it remain people meaning there's a there's a there's a place that your money cannot take you to it is people that you need. And, and let me conclude before I start. Um, family, those days, we, we are told that family is by blood. But I can tell you, if your family by blood is not working for you, pick, look for people that can be a blessing to you, that understand your value, that understand your purpose, that understand your call, and then treat them as your family. Because these days, a lot is happening that many people are ignorant about. And people want to just blame the devil. Yes, I know the devil is at fault, but also our ignorance is what is killing so many things. Um, you now see in families today, families judge, judge each other based on who is wealthy. Families judge each other based on who, who has children. Families judge each other based on their church. I dare to mention the name of church because I, I have one or two experience whether you are a redeemer, a clinician, a witness chapel, um, um, apostolic church. You know, families will divide 
divide their home, divide their family based on that. I come from a family where, unfortunately, one of the lessons, one of the lessons you need to learn today is as father and mother, as parents, you have no right to show your children who you love most. Uh, you can't. It is not easy for you to love your children the same way. It's not easy. I have my children. I love them. But I have the one that is closer closer to me, maybe because there are certain things you just do. I you know I feel closer to her. But the moment I begin to show them that I love one more than the other, uh, then you are looking for trouble for yourself, especially when you are old, when you cannot do certain things for yourself, and then you are dividing those children. And I can tell you that my family, the challenge that we have today is as a result of that. And unfortunately, some among my brothers have not come to the realization that this that our parents did to us is actually wrong. There is a plan of God. I want you to understand this series that I'm starting today in this on this platform, Families Matters to God. Uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 25. Say, in your seed, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. That is what God says. So God has planned for families. All the things I just have, have stated is just to protest the fact that it is the mind of God. God has the mind, I, is, I know, focused on raising families. And that's why the devil also is doing everything possible to attack families. You know, understand the family has been described as the glue which holds the fabric of society together. And that's why before you attack any individual, look at where he or she is coming from. The importance of family, family support cannot be underestimated and family members are often the people who impact us the most. The challenge we have these days, the toughness of this time, the survivor of, of anybody, individual person, will be determined by the family of she comes from. And that's why I stressed it from the beginning. Family by blood is not the only family that you can be called. If by blood, your family does not treat you the way they ought to treat you, you pick your family. You can unpick for your family. I tell people you can unpick for family. The same way you pick your friends, you can unpick your family. Because if you don't do that, I can assure you that for your time. A lot of people that are going through depression right now, check, they don't have the support of the family. Now, when I say support, I'm not talking about monetary support alone. I told one of my elder brother, the one, the one, my immediate elder brother, I said, all these things you are saying, have you built house for me? Have you buy land for me? What have you done for me that made you to think that you can just talk and misbehave anyhow? If your family cannot give you emotional support, then why are you in that family? If your family cannot give you financial support, why are you in that family? If your family cannot look after you, why are you in that family? Now, I told you a bit of my story because even as old as we are right now, we all are Christians. As a matter of fact, I can say we all are pastors in our own capacities. We are divided among ourselves because this simple truth I'm talking about, outside of the devil, there's division. Because some people feel that they know, some people feel that they have, some people feel that they are the one that is loved, some people feel that a lot of nonsense. The Bible says a house divided against itself cannot stand. And that's why I said from the beginning, because some of us don't really understand this. Family is that glue which holds the fabric of society together. So when you see it, somebody who's striving, who's, who is enjoying life today, check the family he or she is coming from. He has the support of the family. Now, I'm saying this because I want to beg you by God's mercy, uh, God forbid on the last days, we find ourselves guilty of this simple truth. 
I am one of those people that believes I don't follow church. I don't follow pastor. I don't follow individual. I don't follow anybody. I follow the word of God. What has God said? Don't forget this series that I started today is, has to do with families matters to God. And that's why I opened the scripture from Acts chapter 3, verse 25. In your seed, all the families of the head shall be blessed. And so if you, as the person, are, are the one who wants to truncate the plan of God concerning family, God will deal with you. Now, if you are listening to me, you are the one dividing that family. Get ready. The vengeance of God is coming upon you. I am so disturbed by the attitude of some individuals when it comes to family. Some feel in their family that they're all almighty. I told you, you now some people feel because they have children, that person they have children, so they should be treated well. I see if the children they have, they are the ones that give themselves. Some feel that because they have money, even you know, imagine in the, in the family of uh, let's say family of three, the eldest does not have money. It is the last born that has money, and he or she feels that she can do or she can say anything. That is not right. Family matters matter to society and to individual, but they also matter to God. Now, at the beginning of the Bible, God states, "It is not good that man should be alone." Genesis chapter two, verse eighteen. Now, following this, God instituted the first marriage and founded the first family. Now, throughout the Bible, God seeks to strengthen his family. Husbands are, you know, are encouraged to love their wives, children to obey their parents, and parents to train up their children in the right path. The Bible contains many real-life examples of both happy and divided families. Now, this is simple truth. In the, you, there are, if you see a dysfunctional family, in the family, check the outcome. There, there's a, there's, there are a lot of people today in their marriage, they have issues. Now, understand, as a marriage counselor, there are, I always tell people, anybody who is dysfunctional should not get married. First of all, sort out yourself. The challenge of most marriages today is as a result of the dysfunctional family you know, those people came out for single mom, single father. It will take the, you know, sometimes I say, tell people this, it will only take the grace of God for a single person. You know, somebody was trained by a single mom or single dad. It will take the grace of God for someone who sees his father and mother fighting. It, it will take the grace of God for the survivor of, of, that, of, of that boy or that, that, that girl who, whose father and mother who, who comes from it in a, an abusive environment. It will take the grace of God. And these days, people are lazy to want to change. You have people say this, how we are in a family, and then you want to carry your junks to go and begin to, to threaten the life of another man, threaten the life of another woman. Family matters to God. Family matters to God. Again, I am so disturbed, and then I want to pray for somebody who is standing against some families. Maybe you are, you are an uncle, you are, you are, you are, you are an aunt, you are a brother, you are a sister in that family, you are, the, you are the devil in that family. Take heed, because the judgment of God is coming upon your life, if you don't repent today. Now, understand the central theme of the Bible is how God moved to bless all the families of the earth through a man called Abraham. God promised him that blessing will come to every family and nation through one of his descendants. The Bible traces Abraham's family line to this man, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you might wonder how one man could bring blessing to all nations. Acts chapter 3 verse 26 says that God sent Jesus to bless you in turning away every one of you from your iniquity. Now the greatest blessing we can receive is forgiveness from sin and freedom from its slavery. Our sin keeps us at a distance from God and threatens to doom us from, the, from eternity. Now, we all know the disturbing reality of the lost pride, greed, hypocrisy found in our heart. The Lord Jesus died for these sins. He bore the punishments our sins deserve so that we can go free and have peace with God. 
Now, this message you may think, that, why is he saying something like that? Saying Jesus Christ. God is the best organizer that I can ever get. And that's why the key message of the Bible that God has acted to bring blessing to all who will repent and trust the Lord Jesus Christ started with the family concept. So I want to beg you back because, God's message, because family matters to God. You matter to God. His offer to bless all nations of the world is still open and freely extended to you. Now, this is a series that we are starting today because uh, family is at the center of God's plan for the happiness and progress of his children. And that's why the Bible teaches that God established families from the very beginning. And it shows us from you know, many examples of strong families. I want to beg you by God's mercy. Because if we don't begin to understand the importance of families, if we don't begin to realize that God is interested in our family, whether the nuclear family, whether the extended family, then the devil will have won. Then the salvation that we are talking about is in vain. It is not, family is not about your church. Families, they are not about your religion. Family, keeping family is not about your tribe. Keeping family is not about your age. Keeping family is not about the children you have. Keeping family is not about the wealth that you have. All these things matter, but they are not about it. They are about only God. Only God. We will continue this journey next week Sunday because I really want us to understand this. I really want us to understand this. How good, how, 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 that, how, that, scripture, how the Bible put that scripture talks about when brothers dwell together in peace. Many of you in your family, you are the architect of the problem. And sometimes I keep asking myself, wondering, how many Jesus are we serving? How many Holy Spirit do we have? Because when you have Jesus in your life, when you have the Holy Spirit in your life, there are things you will not say. There are things you will not do. No matter how angry you are. For some of you, you do those things, you say those things. So if you are hearing me today and you misbehave and do those things and you don't give a damn and you call yourself a child of God, excuse me, you are a child of the devil and you need to repent. And if you are the one destroying your family, I beg you by God's mercy, repent or, or else God will deal with you. Because family, family matters to God. Families matters to God. Family matters because you can't. God will never allow you to break his plan, his strategy. Again, I remind you of that scripture. Acts chapter 3 verse, 20, verse 25. In your seed, all the families of the head shall be blessed. And God wants us to produce God wants us to reproduce. God wants us to manufacture. God wants us to fill the earth. So in your church, that's another area, there are families there. And if you are the one that is dividing it, be careful. Because God's judgment is coming upon you. In your community, there are families there. That's another level of family. Be careful if you are the one that is dividing the family there. In your own excluded Immediate family, be careful if you are the one that is dividing the family. Join me again next week Sunday as we continue in this journey. My name is uh, Prophet Debola. I know there are other platforms that we have, other programs that we have. We have you can see there on the screen. God bless us to join us. I want to encourage you also follow us on the social media platform at uh, Debola Praise or the Midmakers World on Facebook on TikTok, on Instagram. Mind you, uh, the full programs of us, any full programs of us is always on YouTube and uh, Facebook. Though you get some of them on TikTok and Instagram, but the full uh, program fellowship that we have, get them on Facebook and YouTube. God bless you once again. I will see you again next week, Sunday. Shalom. <laughs>